Dixie Decker here. Hey, I wanted to drop one quick tip for you in, and it's specifically for student housing, but I think it would work in other single family or apartment type niches. Um, everyone asks me, if you only check people in and out during the summer, how do you check all your units in and out? Because you just keep growing, but you keep turning over property. So one thing um, I learned from another investor in town who has been doing this many, 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 many more years than me, and he had mentioned, I said, I'm like, it's just you how do you still touch up paint in all these houses on the last day of the month and he shared with me this little tip and I'm gonna share it with you guys so I think this is a huge benefit and it costs you zero dollars to do so when your landlord your business is off of your cash flow so anytime you give somebody like an incentive to do something and you pay them dollars that reduces your cash flow um, and you could call it a cost of doing business, but for me, if I have 24 houses moving out on the last day of May, I'm asking myself, if everything doesn't go picture perfect, like my system says it does, and what my people do and how my tenants behave, because remember, my tenants clean these properties, their parents come down and clean these properties, so very rarely do we have any hiccups on that last day, but I always plan as if there is gonna be. So what I did was we offered, and this is the secret, we offered anybody that would move out before the 24th of the month, we would expedite their security deposit refund in 10 days versus 30, which is Missouri state law, 30 days to refund them their security deposit. And we said we would expedite that into 10 days. So it didn't cost us any rent or proration of rent to move them out six days early. Um, we just incentivized them by refunding them faster so they have that money to go spend on whatever else. Um, because they've already put security deposits down on wherever they're moving to. But this would just be a little perk to get it back faster. So we had about half of them say they would move out before the 24th of the month and the other half still moved out on the last day of their lease. But the point is it gave my team extra time had we have needed it to, to turn those properties over because our anticipation was to turn over 24 in one day. So that's the other thing, whatever landlord business you're in, how long does it take you to turn over a unit? How are your tenants treating your properties? So the myth is these students are animals, but the truth is if your system runs properly, you're gonna get back a gorgeous house. So um, single family apartments or student housing, um, this year when you move somebody out, maybe incentivize them if they move out prior to, you know, five days before the lease ends, um, you'll expedite their security deposit refund and see if it makes your life a little easier. So we enjoyed it. It went off without a hitch this year and we're gonna do it again this year.